Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace an aerobic system pump. Uh, ours went dead, uh, opened this up, and it looks like it has just been through hell. So I went and bought myself a new one. I'm going to show you how to uh, replace it. So let's First get started. thing I'm going to do is open up this box here. Got some screws right there, right there. Looks like a flathead. Uh, this has the breakers in it. I'm going to turn those off. And then I will move this... Uh, off out of the way so that I can access the pump. Okay, you can kind of see that this kind of sunk in the ground. It's all swollen from moisture and all that. Pretty sure I uh, had fire ants all around it and they just destroyed it. So I'm gonna put this stone here and make it so it sits flat, nice and level. But I'm gonna pull this out real quick. Okay, now that I've got the pump off to the side, I'm gonna trace the wire goes up through the back and uh, if I pull on a little bit you can see uh, sorry down here which wires it's going to it's going to this one that one right there and the white one over there so just remember where those were uh, undo them pull them out and then we'll get to installing the okay, new one since mine came with a plug I am going to cut the plug off and set it up so that it's hardwired I don't have an outlet down here so I'm going to uh, cut this and pull out the different color wires and attach them directly to the fuse panel there. If you look carefully, you can see the three different color wires in there. So I'm going to want to get those out and isolated and then strip the ends of those so I can attach them to where they need to go on the fuse block there. So I'm just going to use a razor blade and cut down the side so I can access it easy. I tried to use my pliers to pull it apart, but that was a little too hard. So I'm just gonna use my razor blade and then I will use a wire stripper to get the ends undone. They're isolated, so now I'm just gonna put them into the stripper and uh, maybe get half an inch or so of wire exposed. Well, since the ground isn't really that level, I'm gonna kinda try and level it out with my foot here. Didn't bring a shovel or anything. Hopefully all these uh, fire ant hills are uninhabited. So I'm gonna do this so I can get it nice and smooth and then I'm gonna put down the stone right there so the pump can sit on top of it. All right, I've got the pump sitting in place. I actually found that I had a stone down here. I thought I did for this to sit on. And so I've got the little hose hooked up for the air to go through. Got this, and so what I'm gonna to need to do now is take the wires and feed it through the back over there and come up through that hole right back there. Shouldn't be that difficult, but uh, I've said that all before. Right. I've got it all buttoned up. Everything is hooked up like it should. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is flip the breakers and hopefully we hear humming sound coming from it. Actually, I need to go to the main breaker too. So give me just All a right. second. Turn on the power and you can tell that it's working. Uh, I had the alarm on so I could hear it from across the yard there, but if you listen carefully, you can hear the humming of the pump. So we are good to go, thank goodness. Anyway, I hope this helped you guys out. Don't be afraid to tackle something like this yourself. It's really easy. Uh, really only took me about 10 minutes to do all of this. So anyway, don't be afraid. Do it yourself. Talk to you later.